what's going on guys how's it going i know you guys haven't seen me in a while and you know i know on my youtube channel i posted up old videos of places that i previously visited you know they had no narration and they had no introduction you know because i've been so busy you know i'll be honest with you i've been so busy and i'm getting married in 15 days you know i get married on february 10th and I've been so busy with my life, I've been so busy working, and I've just been so busy trying to get everything ready and trying to get everything prepared for my wedding, you know? So, um, right now I'm here in East Northport. Uh, you know, just, you know, I'm right past Comac, right off Jericho Turnpike. I'm on Lockfield Road. And um, I'm checking out an abandoned Rite Aid. You know, uh, I noticed this place maybe about a month or two ago when I was doing Uber Eats and I was delivering in the area here in East Northport. And um, that's what I noticed, that there was this abandoned right aid. Right now, I'm parked by the drive-thru area. I'm parked behind the building. Because Logfield Road and Jericho Turnpike, right behind me, there's, like, a lot of action going on. And, you know, there's, like, a lot of vehicles or whatever, you know. And I don't want to just leave my car out there in the open and people, you know, get suspicious. You know, I'm not saying nobody's going to call the cops. Nobody's going to do anything. You know, but, you know, I'm just inconspicuously parked behind the building, you know. But yeah, I'm checking out this abandoned right aid. Um, you know, like I said, I've noticed this a couple of months ago, or about a month or two ago when I was doing Uber Eats. And I had it on my mind for a while to do a video here. You know, and I don't live that far from here. I'm probably about a half hour. You know, probably about the same distance as that abandoned Burger King that I did a while back in Sahasset on Jericho Turnpike, all the way out there in Nassau County. So I'm here to check out this abandoned right aid. And from what I understand, Rite Aid actually closed out a whole bunch of stores recently. And I saw, I, I think it was Wally. I think I saw one of Wally's videos that he recently did on Abandoned Rite Aid. So I'm going to check this out and, you know, see what's going on. I thought I heard an alarm going off in there. I heard something beeping. They still have all the lights on. You know, they have all the lights on and everything. So, um, but I thought I heard something beeping going on in there. I don't know. I thought maybe I might have heard an alarm, you know, when I got here. So, you know. Uh, this one's located at 577 Lockfield Road, East Northport, New York, 11731. So I made it a priority to come over here at some point in time, eventually, whether the weather was crappy, whether it was sunny, I don't care. But I made it a priority to eventually come out here and check this place out. So in the words of Wally B26, let's get out of the car. Let's go check this out. All right. See you then. All right, guys. Well, there it goes right here behind me. There it goes. The abandoned right age. R77 Lockfield Road, East Northport, New York, 11731. So yeah, I did hear an alarm going off, and it's I'm sorry if you can barely hear me. There's a lot of traffic right here. Like I said before, Lockfield Road is a very busy road. But uh yeah, there is an alarm going off. There appears to be some kind of a wall panel going off over there, right here by the main entrance. There's a wall panel beeping like crazy. And I thought I heard that when I was in my car on the other side. So yeah. So um, you know. Let's uh, turn around and let's go and check the place out. I mean, there's a couple of windows. You, you see the windows right over here? There's a couple of windows that are kind of high. But because I have a handheld tripod, I could probably put my hand up and I could probably reach. You know, I could probably just put my hand up and you guys could probably see what's inside of the store. And I could probably check it out upon reviewing the footage before I edit this, you know. All right. So um, without further ado, I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to check out this abandoned right aid. All right. All right. Cool. Let's do this. Alrighty, here we go. The abandoned right aid here in East Northport. Right on Lockfield Road. And there goes the abandoned sign over there. This is where it used to say right aid. In the words of Wally B26, Wally Bitnowski, there goes the sign this sign. It looks like they covered it up. Looks like there's some kind of plastic covering on there. Hold on, let me zoom in on that real quick. Whoa. Yeah, it looks like they put some kind of a plastic covering or some kind of a mesh covering on the sign. But that's where I would have said right in. All right, cool. All right, let's, let's keep going. All right, there it goes. Eventually, I've got a feeling this is eventually going to turn into a Dollar Tree. More than likely. Maybe not because as, uh, if I remember correctly, because I do a lot of Uber Eats orders over here. And if I remember correctly, I believe there's a Dollar Tree right up the road over there, right on Rockfield. I believe there's a Dollar Tree up the road over there. So, maybe a Dollar General? 
I don't know. We'll see. Check this out. But you notice, ironically enough, right over there, I'm gonna walk over there eventually. I gotta talk loud because there's a lot of traffic right now. But right over there, right where the yellow poles are, when I get close, I'll show you guys. But right where the yellow poles are, there's actually a Dollar Tree shopping cart. Which I have no idea how the hell I got over here because when you step out of Dollar Tree, the wheels lock. So somebody must have noticed that the wheels locked and they probably jacked the hell out of it, carried it on the shoulder and it rolled on over here. Who knows? <laughs> All right, let's go. The pharmacy department is closed. Excuse me, this pharmacy department has closed. Visit any CVS pharmacy location to fill your next prescription. Your prescriptions have been confidentially transferred to CVS Pharmacy at 520 Larkfield Road, East Northport. So that's right up the road. Okay, cool. This store is closed. Oh, really? I thought it was open. <laughs> Yo. That's funny. And there goes the alarm panel going off. Just right here. Right there. Yeah. You can hear it louder from over here, though. You can hear it loud from here. Not exactly sure what it says. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. All right. Well, let's keep going, guys. Can you really see anything in there? You can't really see anything in there because they have the gate down. But it looks like they emptied out everything over there, though. But they have all the electricity on. All the lights are on and everything in there. You can even see it on the ceiling. All the lights are on. So, let's keep going. Whoa. Hang on. What the? Look at this. They've got a freaking lockbox. So how the hell are you supposed to get the key out of the lockbox when the door over here is locked? So you're supposed to get the key from the lockbox from the inside when the door is locked? Unless, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, that's locked up pretty tight. Well, I don't know. They'll have to figure that out, I guess. All right. Let's keep going. Right around the back over here. See, that's what I said right there. That's a cart from Dollar Tree. I have no idea how the hell that person even got it out here when you take the carts out of Dollar Tree and the wheels lock. Oh, a security camera right over there. I was kind of skeptical because there's a couple of security cameras. I was kind of skeptical about being here before, not knowing if they're being recorded because all the electricity is on. But even if they're being recorded or even if the surveillance cameras are on, I highly doubt anybody is monitoring anything because there's nobody in here. I highly doubt those surveillance cameras are being monitored or they're connected to some kind of security system or some kind of separate office outside of the building. So, see, there goes a cart from Dollar Tree. How the hell did they get that all the way over here? Sprinklers throughout the building. Oh, look at this. How, how the hell? Oh, it looks like a pretty old cart, too. The Dollar Tree logo ain't even on there anymore. Dang. All right. Hmm. Oh, it's an old doorbell that is missing. I doubt it works. Yeah, it doesn't work. Oh, look at this. Is that a peephole? Huh, let me see something real quick. See if we can take a look. Yeah, you can't really see nothing in there. They have all these doors sealed. I'll go right in the back. Pick up, drop off. Well, where the hell am I gonna drop off my stuff if the freaking place is closed? Do you really expect me to drive up the road? I gotta pick up my damn medicine, man. I gotta get my freaking medicine and you're telling me to pick it up here when it's closed? Get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just using a lot of pickup lines for Wally's videos. 
It's a dumb acknowledgement, but you know what? It's a funny one. And if you don't make fun of yourself, you're probably not living life as good as you should, or you're probably not having as much fun as you should. Oh, there go the old meters. There go the old meters. Mm. What's in here? Huh. Looks like that goes underneath the building. Oh, okay. Oh, there goes my baby shadow. I love my Prius. Great on gas and it's very economical, especially with all the miles that I put on it from driving Uber Eats. There goes the meters. There it goes. A Long Island Power Authority. Also known as what was once known as LIPA. Wow. Delta Metal Products. Company Incorporated, Brooklyn, New York. Hmm. Somebody put a Monster Energy sticker over here. <sighs> Hello, Shadow. <laughs> I love my Prius. I've had three Priuses in the past. Shadow here is my third Prius. And I love it. It's very economical. It drives smooth. And it saves you a lot of money on gas. Oh, what's this? The trash area. Let's check it out. Wow, holy cow. It's really beat up over here, huh? The heck? Holy cow. Look at this. Hmm. An old caulking gun, an empty water bottle. What else we got over here? Oh my goodness. Wow. Looks like an old broken down table. An old plastic shelf. What else we got over here? Soda bottles, apple juice, maybe? Is it? No. Limeade. A couple of empty soda cans. Oh, that's cool. A mini dirt bike. Wow. Damn, I wish they would have left that here. I would have gladly rode it around town if I was able to. Nah, just kidding. My fat ass probably wouldn't even be uh, my fat ass probably wouldn't even be able to fit on there anyway. <laughs> Get my freaking fat ass on a mini dirt bike like that, I freaking break the damn thing. <laughs> mm. Wow. Oh, look, an old car bumper. Wow, that's cool. Oh, whoa, look at that. It still has the headlight on it. Wow, that's cool. Dang, this is awesome. Wow. What's that? Oh, shoot, look at this, a Domino's gift card. Huh. I wonder if there's anything on it. There's another one over here, look. I wonder if there's anything on it. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it there. Wow. Oh, they got the old wooden pallets. Looks like an old broken down cabinet over there in the corner. A couple of milk cartons. Wow. All right, let's keep going. There goes Shadow. I got her in August two years ago. And within two years, she was at 134,000 miles. She was at 134,000 miles and currently she's at 164. So within two years, I put 30,000 miles on her and she's still going strong. A couple of years ago, I had another Prius, but a couple of years ago, I got into an accident. Some guy was tailgating me, hit me from behind, deployed my airbags and spun me out of control. And a couple of days later, or a week later, I should say, I ended up with this beautiful gem. So, yeah. The previous Prius that I had was gold. And the first one that I ever had was silver. It was, it was, it was uh, like a dark silver, smoky silver color. It was cool. And now I got this one. All three of them were 2008s. And I don't regret it. I love a Prius. It's the best car ever. At least... You know, I'm so used to driving it, maybe because I give it a lot of praise, but I love it. I love the Prius. All right, let's check this out over here. Look at this. This door is closed. Really? I thought it was open. All the lights are on. Hey, can I get some service over here? Hello? Hey, hello? Hello? Man, this is whack. All right, well, you know what? If I can't get any service, 
Let me see if I can call somebody. Let's see. Nothing. You know, you're really gonna make me have to drive over to CVS, literally right down the road. Another five minutes, I gotta drive another five minutes to get my damn medicine. Maybe I wanna get a snack. Maybe I wanna get a couple of Pringles. Maybe I wanna get some Kit Kat bars. You guys got discount for a dollar? Anything? Hello? You know, hello? Anybody? Hello? Man, whatever, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> oh man, I love taking a page out of Wally's book. It's a lot of fun. All right, let me put the phone up against the thing here. And um, let me zoom it in just a little bit. Hang on, one second. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now you really see it good. There we go. Wow. Yeah, sorry about the glare. It's early in the afternoon. It's around two o'clock right now, so. Wow. It looks like they really stripped out the whole place. Huh. And as you can see on the ceiling, all the lights are still on. All right. Let's keep going. So this was the old drive through area over here. Whoa, holy crap. Okay, all right. I almost, I almost did a freaking face plant. I tripped over the curve, but I'm good. <laughs> so this is where the old drive through was. Wonder if there's a label scar on the other side. No, probably not. Right? Yeah. Nah. There's nothing there. All right, well, let's keep going. <sighs> all righty. All righty. Looks like there's a big crack in the part of the building over here. You can see over here, like you see the lines. Like you, like you see it is right here, like it's sealed up. But if you look up, see like it's starting to crack and it's like it goes worse. It's like as you go higher, it looks like it gets worse. Wow. All right. Oh, FedEx door delivery is next door. That's cool. All right, and here's the main entrance again. Back to square one. Right here is where they have some kind of a uh, label scar up there. It looks like this. Let's see if I can zoom that in for you guys. Whoa. Hang on. One sec. See? Oh, hold on. That's too much. Right there. Perfect. You can see the old label scarring right there. That's cool. I'm going to go to those windows in a second. They had a couple of these label scars that are right here. You could easily see where they had the other main sign over here. Right there. See? Right there. You could see the holes where the sign was. But then they had another one right over there. Wow. All right. So what I'm going to do now is... Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to put my camera, I'm going to raise my hand and I'm going to eventually review the footage when I'm editing. But I'm going to put, I'm going to put my hand up top and hopefully you guys could see inside. My selfie stick can actually reach. Well, I got a jobby. I got a, I got a jobby handheld tripod and that's how I'm recording everything right now. This thing has worked wonders for me. I wonder if that red light goes on. Like, if you activate the alarm, I wonder if that red siren light goes on. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to put my hand up real quick, and you, you guys tell me if you can see anything. I'll eventually look at the footage when I'm editing, but you guys let me know. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. You guys see anything? Eventually I'll take a look. Let me see over here. All right. I'm not sure if you can see anything because of the glare, but Oh yeah, I forgot to check this out too. I forgot to tell you guys this. Look at this. 
Look at this. There's an old Western Union sign right there. So I guess over here they used to launder money too. That's cool. Alright. You guys see anything? Yeah, let me go to this last corner. Let me go to the corner window up over here. If you got to see anything in there. As you guys can see from here, you see they have all the lights on. Well, some of them. But it's clearly evident that the electricity is still on over here. So, all right. And here's the entrance. Right over here. What the hell? Oh, there goes the main entrance. Mm -hmm. Now let's go over here where they have the sign this sign. One last look at that from the distance. Then we're gonna cut things off over here. There it goes. Alright, well, there you have it, the old Red Aid, here in East Northport, 577 Lockfield Road, East Northport, New York, 11731. Oh, let me zoom out, there's one more look at the place, it goes right there in all its glory. So yeah, since there's a Dollar Tree right up the road from here, I highly doubt that they're going to put a Dollar Tree over here, maybe a Dollar General? There, I know out here on Long Island, there's somewhere here in Long Island. I'm not exactly sure where, but I know out here on Long Island, there's somewhere, I've seen it somewhere, I don't remember whether, I, it could be on Wellwood Avenue, it could be either Lindenhurst, or it's, it's somewhere out west, I gotta ask my boy Dylan, but he, because my boy Dylan knows a, a lot about abandoned places, so I gotta ask Dylan, but there's a, I know that there's, I know that there was once a Rite Aid, it might be Huntington, I, I don't remember, but it was once a Rite Aid, and it, and it has now become a Dollar General. It has become a Dollar General, but I don't know exactly where out here in Long Island, but I know I've seen it. I gotta ask Dylan. I have to ask him. Maybe he knows. But yeah, there it goes. The abandoned right aid. Well, I'm gonna get going. There's a couple of more places I want to check out around here, including an abandoned Boston Market in Comac. Gonna be pretty cool. All right. All right, guys. See you soon. All right, so I'm gonna get out of here. I think I spent more than enough time over here. I'm gonna look at the footage and see if I can actually see what's inside. I don't know if you were able to tell because of all the glare, but I mean, I'll, I'll look at the footage and I'll review and see when I edit. You know, I'll see if I was able to see anything or if you guys were able to see anything. But there it goes. The old abandoned Rite Aid, East Northport. Yeah, the weather is kind of gloomy today, so much like January, out here on Long Island, the weather is all gloomy out here. We'll have a nice sunny day here and there, but majority of January here in, you know, Long Island, here all Long Island, majority of January is always gloomy and it's always raining. So, you know, I least all the snow melted because this whole area, the whole freaking ground was covered in snow and everything was covered in snow, man. And finally it started raining and it melted all the snow away, thank goodness. So, all right, well, you guys have seen here, the abandoned right aid here on East North Point. So I'm gonna get back inside the car and I'm gonna head on out of here and um, check out a couple of more places that I have in mind. All right? All right, guys. Like Wally B always says, like Wally Bednowski, you guys stay awesome and have a great day. All right? See you later, everybody.
Yo, so I just noticed something. When I just did the video to, you know, to come in here and look around, I just noticed that I'm being recorded, but I just noticed those red flashing lights right above the screen. So I don't know if that means anything, but I just noticed those red flashing lights right above the surveillance camera screen. I don't know if that means anything, but I sure as hell don't want to find out. I don't really think it means nothing, but I literally just noticed that. Like when I just did that last clip to come in here and look, that's when I noticed those red flashing lights and I noticed that the security cameras, obviously they're off because the electricity is still going. But I literally just noticed those red flashing lights right above the screen. Huh. All right. Well, I'm getting out of here anyway. So, see you guys in the car. All right, well, that was cool, right? Checking out the abandoned old Rite Aid here in East Northport. So, uh, I have a couple of places more in mind that I'm going to go check out in a little bit. There's an old OTB racing theater here in Colmac that I'm going to check out on Jericho Turnpike. It's pretty cool. That one has been closed for a long time. So uh, I'm going to go and check the place out. I don't know how well we could see inside because it looks like all the windows are boarded, but it's a pretty big building. And then right across the street from there, a little up the road, there's an abandoned Boston market. So I'm going to hit the high today here on Jericho Turnpike here in the East North Point Comac area. It's going to be pretty cool. So, you know, again, like I said earlier, again, I'm sorry I haven't really been all that active. You know, like I said, I've had a lot going on. I've been really busy and, you know, I've been working and, I'm, you know, I'm getting married in 15 days on February 10th. And, you know, so there's just been like a whole lot going on that hasn't allowed me to have the opportunity to stop and freeze and to, you know, relax and, you know, go out there and see the world, you know, but, you know, but I'm getting it done, you know, and I'm here today to spend some time with you guys, you know, and, um, you know, do some, uh, pretty cool exploration you know what i mean so well i checked out the abandoned right out here so i'm gonna keep trucking you know you know like wally b always says like wally you know like wally always says in his videos you know i'll check this place out and i'm gonna keep trucking along and i'm gonna see what i find next <laughs> it's amazing man wally has really been inspirational to me man he you know he really is an amazing man you know i'm part of the wally b 26 facebook group and you know i can't tell you or I can't tell Wally enough how much he has really inspired me, you know, to live a fun life. You know, he's, um, it hasn't always been that easy for me, you know. Uh, it hasn't always been that easy for me, you know, when life has gotten hard and life has gotten rough on me. But, uh... You know, watching Wally's videos always puts a smile on my face. You know, and um, there's been a lot of times in life where I have been in really dark places. And, you know, when I discovered Wally's YouTube channel, even though I'm not there with him physically in his videos, you know, when I watched his videos, as soon as I started watching his YouTube channel, he has brought me out of that dark place. A dark place that I never want to revisit ever again. And Wally, if you watch this video, I really want to say thank you, man. You know, you truly are amazing. You really are the best. You have brought me out of so many dark places. And I, you know, I have been mentally drained. I have been emotionally drained in so many aspects of my life. But Wally, I really want to say thank you, man. You have really brought some joy and really brought some light into my life, and I really appreciate that. You really are amazing, Wally, and it's amazing how you can touch people's lives. You know, you really are amazing, man. You really are amazing, Wally. You know, I'm sorry, I don't mean to cry, but there's been so much going on lately, and that's probably why, you know, well, not probably, but that's the main reason why I haven't gone out and done as many videos as I should because I've been going through a lot in life but you know slowly or surely everything is going to start getting better but the real reason that I keep going and that I get strong and smile and that I see life as a bright rainbow was because of Wally you know he always makes me happy he makes me realize that when life is dark or when you know when life gets hard you know or as I heard in the movie the mighty ducks one time when the wind blows hard and the sky is dark Wally is always there as a bright ray of sunshine to always make me smile or realize that everything will be okay. And I can't praise him enough for that and I can't thank him enough. So, Wally, thank you, man. 
you're a true inspiration, bro. You really are. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to keep going. And, uh, you know, like Wally B26 always says in his videos at the very end, you guys stay awesome. You guys stay awesome and have a great day. All right? I'm trying to hold the selfie cam over here and stick the stupid thing. There we go. Yeah, because I have, I have the, uh, because I have a jobby. I have a, I have a, I have a, I have a jobby handheld uh, tripod. And it comes with a, it, co it comes with a, um, a phone holder that you screw onto the tripod. But like Wally B26 always says in his videos, and I, and I have it placed here inside the, uh, inside of the cup holder. Hey, there it goes again. There it goes again. Hang on, hang on. I got it. Hang on. There we go. So like Wally B26 always says in his videos, you guys stay awesome and you guys have a great day. All right? All right. See you guys in Comac. Take care, everybody.